Welcome to my channel, happy Monday. Today we are gonna be testing out another tanning product. This one I did get sent to me by Influencer. If you wanna try out Influencer, it's a free app where you can sign up and review products and get sent products for free to test out. And I got sent the Bandai Sands Pure line, not the whole line, but just two products that I wanted to test out. I've been seeing reviews on TikTok, some really cool, good reviews, and I am so interested to try this out. And I'm really happy that I got this sent to me because I probably would have gone out and bought this anyways. So there's two things in here. One of them is the foaming water and it's in the shade dark. So <laughs> there's two shades. I do think it comes in light, medium, and then dark. I'm pretty pale and pasty, um, not terribly pale. I've been wearing t-shirts, so I have a little bit of like a, a farmer's tan and I am more tan on like the back of my neck because I'm in Texas, I'm a redneck. I'm a little curious how the dark is gonna turn out. Um, it is $27 if you wanted to go to Ulta or the Bondi Sands website and purchase this yourself. And then the sleeping mask is for your face. Apparently this is the first face tanning product that they've come out with. There's like a mist and I believe something else, but this is a sleeping mask. So it is about seven o'clock right now. And I am gonna put this sleeping mask on it is $25. It says it won't clog your pores and both of these have vitamin C and vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. So kind of like skin loving ingredients and they are both dermatologist tested and good for sensitive skin. So this is what they look like. I'm so excited. I also got sent a mitt, which I'm super excited about too because I've only tried two mitts so far in my tanning journey and you know it's always fun to try new things also this is really interesting that these are all made of recycled recyclable don't really know how to say that word it's made of recyclable materials and also this whole thing is recycle oh my gosh i'm getting so tongue-tied today you can recycle this. <laughs> Made it pretty simple there. Oh, here you go. It says it on the bottle, so I don't have to actually say it. Oh, and it's a Leaping Bunny. Certif Is that the Leaping Bunny? It's cruelty-free. Cruelty-free and vegan for both of these. So if you're one of those people that do like that. So let's read the instructions for an easy streak Free tan ensure your skin is clean. Yes, exfoliated. Yes, free of any moisturizers. Yes, and it says to squeeze the Bondi Sands Pure Foaming Water directly on the skin. Use your application mitt in long sweeping motions to blend into legs, arms, and body. Use the remaining residue on the mitt for elbows and knees, probably ankles and wrists since guys follow my channel apparently my wrists are some dry wrists wait until dry to the touch before dressing you don't have to wash it off it doesn't transfer it says to leave on for at least six hours for it to fully develop for the deepest tan reapply 30 minutes after initial application i'm not looking to get hecka tan so i'm not gonna do that because <laughs> i'm a little bit intimidated by the dark not gonna lie and this one pretty much has the same instructions clean and dry free of any product this is a sleeping mask avoid your eyes wash your hands afterwards cool 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 i'm so intrigued I've been seeing so many TikToks over this. This is a fancy mitt. Feels so special. Oh, wow. This is a really fancy mitt. The other mitts I have, I feel like are not this like uh, fancy. Like this one's 
pretty fancy schmancy. All right, so for this foaming water, you don't have to like pump it or anything. You just have to turn it upside down and squeeze it. The kind of mechanics, I guess, in the bottle is very interesting. I have a little, oh yeah, so you can kind of see it in there. Kind of interesting how it's a little foamy uh, thing. Ugh, a little bit of fridge. Okay, let's try just, oh. <laughs> it said not to shake it. I don't know, oh my gosh. Okay, let's just spread this before anything bad happens. It literally feels just like a water. Oh, it's not foaming. Why are you not foam? Let me try. Ah, oh, it's like a liquid foam. Oh, I'm completely disappointed, but a little different than what I was expecting. I was trying to look up some instructions on this to better understand what this was like. Let me try just my leg. I know you guys can't really see. Let me try and get this. Oh, oh, okay. So the more you like tip it over to like 90 degrees, the more of a actual foam that it is. Okay. Yep. I wonder if I could show you guys maybe on, where can I show you? Uh, do you like my shoulder? That works, okay. So you can see it's not so liquidy, so you do have to probably be mindful. I gotta squish my hand um, to be at like a 90 degree angle to uh, have the correct consistency. Or it could be just the first couple of pumps that I had there. Ugh. So weird. <laughs> I don't think I've tried a, I've never tried a foam, like the Loving Tan. Ugh. I can never talk when I touch my, my throat. Long strokes. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of my body off camera. It does say to wait a little bit before dressing to where it's like dry to the touch. This arm is pretty much dry to the touch. Um, this arm is a little bit sticky. My legs are not sticky. I, I would say like right after application, when it's soaking in, it gets a little bit sticky. Should do my elbows now while there's a little bit of product. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of my body. All right, so I just got done applying everything to my body. It feels pretty nice. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't smell weird. It is fragrance free, forgot to mention that. Um, but fragrance dye and sulfate free. It says it on the back. Woo, right there is where it says it <laughs> on both of these. All right, so now I wanna test out the sleeping mask. I do have to wash my hands right after. I did just trim my nails, but the last tanning product that I used it did get a little bit of tanning product underneath my nails and my nails did tan along with my skin. <laughs> so much fun. But most of this is pretty much dry to the touch. A couple of spots are still a little almost tacky feeling. But other than that, it feels like it dries pretty fast. The application was super easy. Once I went off camera, it was super fast to where I was switching in between applying this directly to the mitt and directly to my skin and just rubbing it through. I really enjoy this mitt, by the way. There wasn't a single bit of tanning product that came through on the mitt, which other products that I've tried have come through and got tanning product unexpectedly on my hands. And I liked that, that one that did not do that. So this one is just a massage. Bondi Sands Pure Self Tanning Sleeping Mask evenly over the face. Doesn't say how much to use. But yeah, this, while well, I'm trying to open the other one, I feel like that would last forever because it's a foam. I found that I wasn't really using that much product. I don't really know like 
how much to use. And I pretty much did like a nice dollop of foam on each body part. So I don't really know. Let's see. Okay, so this is pretty much the consistency of moisturizer. Interesting. Oh yeah, it's like a gel-ish type moisturizer. I hope I didn't use too much. I'm gonna put a little bit on my neck decollete area. Oh, this is really nice. I love the consistency of this. I was a little afraid it was gonna be almost a different consistency because I was a little bummed out that I couldn't do my skincare. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I do just like a teensy bit on my ears. Just kind of go with the flow. Kind of make it look like I'm evenly tanned, which is pretty nice. I, I have a lot of scar tissue on this ear and it gets very, very painful if I get a sunburn or something on it. I'm very impressed so far. It feels so nice. Like I would not be opposed to using this as like a regular moisturizer. I like the consistency of it a lot and it feels really hydrating. Put it down my neck. I really don't know how dark this is gonna get. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I will probably check in with you guys in the morning because this is a sleeping mask and it does say to allow six hours to let this develop. So hopefully I can come back and let you guys know how everything felt throughout the night. Pretty much my whole body is dry. Nothing's really sticky or anything. So it dries really fast. Love this so far. Hopefully it's not like crazy, crazy dark. And this, the consistency of it is lovely. It's almost like the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Moisturizer. If you've tried that one, I feel like that's like the closest consistency that I can relate it to. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully I'm not crazy dark. Hopefully this is a lovely golden Australian tan. Okay, well it is the next morning and I am not good at blending around my forehead, but it's an easy fix. I'm probably just gonna exploit uh, my forehead and around my nose and other than that, the rest of my face and everything looks pretty good and even, even around like my ears. The tan picked up pretty nicely. I totally miss this part of my arm. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, <laughs> but you can kind of see the difference in color between my two arms. But yeah, I actually really like this tanner. My legs turned out really good. Let me try and use my arm as an example, but my legs, I absolutely love the color and the evenness of the tan on my legs and around my ankles. The upper part of my body, I feel like I could do another layer on my chest and arms and shoulders, which shouldn't take too long. The other thing that I wanted to say was it didn't smell like anything until about the three hour mark. It started smelling a little bit like self tanner. After it got done developing, like in the morning, it doesn't smell like developer or uh, self tan at all. And my skin feels super hydrated, like everywhere. Like it feels like I, Put like a really nice like body butter on last night like even on my face like i was really surprised that even though i didn't do any other skincare like my skin still feels pretty nice so i'm gonna go wash my face and do another little update for you guys and i might just apply a little bit more on my decolletage area to get a little bit more even with my legs. All right, I just got finished washing my face and it looks a lot better 
and my skin is still super moisturized. I haven't put moisturizer on since I washed my face and my face still feels really just like not dry or tight at all. I also did another application on my arms because they are a little bit lighter and I was pretty sloppy. <laughs> I started off with my arms. I should have known to go back over them, but these are actually super nice. I really like these a lot. I would definitely be interested in trying more of the Pure line by Bondi, Bondi Sam and these are just freaking amazing. My favorite part is just like how easy it is to just like tilt this over and just foam and then spread it across. It doesn't seem to be patchy on me at all. Um, I feel like this is mostly like user error. Same thing with my forehead. I feel like it's user error. I could probably use a little less product and be mindful to get it more into my hairline like I did over here. I didn't really pay attention to it as much on the other side. And the other thing that I would say is even though this is in the shade dark, um, I don't really think this is like crazy dark like even on my legs when i where i did like a little bit more um i don't really feel like this is like dark so if you do try out the dark shade i would suggest what they suggest um to reapply 30 minutes after the initial application if you want to get it a lot deeper but the actual color of the tan is a very nice um like natural color tan to me like a very nice like goldenish almost cool toned looking tan it's very interesting and i didn't like that and i did like that the smell wasn't like very overbearing i have tried some that have kind of like that really intense like i don't want to smell this anymore uh like self tanner smell or like a tanning bed some people really like that smell I'm not the hugest fan of that smell. But yeah, it doesn't say how long this tan should last. I haven't been able to find if it says last for five days, last for three days, whatever. But with washing my face, I don't really feel like my the face is going to last that long. Because just with like my regular face wash, it pretty much even this out pretty well. I didn't take everything off, but it definitely helped smooth out the harsh line on my forehead, which is a common thing with my face that the tanner just never lasts. But I do like that this doesn't clog my pores and it has a really hydrating feel to it to where um, not using your normal skincare routine feels pretty a-okay but yeah i'll have to update you guys in some later videos to see how well this lasts and i'm definitely interested in trying this out it's so easy so 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 easy to use and this mitt is probably my favorite mitt thus far again this like lining that it has on the inside no tanning product seeped through here the other ones that i have also if you guys have any tips on like cleaning mitts i have not cleaned these so <laughs> if you have any tips let me know but um this one is by saint Tropez and this one is isle of paradise and these don't have any kind of like really strong lining in under like the foam so when you do use these mitts the product does get like right in your fingers and your nails, which I do not like. But this one is like top notch. Love, love, love this tanning mitt. <laughs> and I feel like this tanning mitt definitely helped with the application a lot better than like these like kind of flimsy ones. But yeah, let me know if you guys have tried this Bondi Sands pure line i highly suggest it it's so nice so far very hydrating very easy application very easy to fix up any mistakes doesn't smell too bad of 
like self tanning very easy to sleep with it like after the initial application once it's like done uh kind of like soaking into your skin it doesn't like transfer doesn't stain anything i might actually say that i do like these more than the isle of paradise ones dare i say i might actually like these better than the isle of paradise so far these are definitely my favorite love the color of the tan love the application there's nothing that I don't like about this. I mean, cruelty-free, vegan, fragrance, dye, sulfate-free, made with recycled material. The whole thing is recyclable. Can't say that word still. Has like skin-friendly ingredients to like give you more of a radiance than like the actual tan with the vitamin C and the vitamin E. And I do have sensitive skin, especially like on my arms. I do get like really dry, irritated like chicken skin. Um, and this didn't irritate it at all. My face wasn't irritated at all with this one. But yeah, if you guys want to watch my last tanning video, it definitely was not as successful as this one. I used these tanning towelettes and it turned out so badly. <laughs> Would not ever try those again. But if you want to watch that video, that video will be right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here where you click on and subscribe to my channel.